Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we are going to be taking a look at a Halo Heroes Series 1 figure. This is the legendary Master Chief in his, I guess this is technically Halo Legends armor, it's his Mark IV armor, but it also appeared in the movie Forward Unto Dawn, which was a fantastic movie. So it's really cool to finally have that version of Chief in hand. And if you saw my haul video that I had this guy in, you will know that Jacob Hoffman sent this to me completely free of charge. Just he saw my video where I said I needed to track him down to put him next to Fred in my collection. And he was like, hey, I have one and I'll send it to you. And he did. So absolutely huge thanks to him. That was a super, super amazing move on his part. So today we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. The Halo Heroes boxes have changed a lot over the years, but seeing the Series 1 packaging is really neat because, uh, as I've said before, I was not collecting during the time that like Series 1 and even 2 and 3 and all that were out. So seeing this is really cool. I like how they went with some, you know, some angles here, make the packaging a little bit more interesting. It says Series 1 down here, and this has the old Mega Blocks branding. This is before they switched to Mega Constructs. And then up here we have a somewhat questionable render of Chief in his Mark IV armor. That visor looks a little bit janky, but overall it's pretty cool. And then we got some like Forerunner looking stuff in the background, some gradient here. And then around the back, you can see we have the rest of Series 1, which I realized I have almost all of now. I've got Thorn, I have the Defender, I have Buck, I have the Orbital. I just need to track down Vale. So when I track down Vale, maybe I'll do an entire series review of that. So let's go ahead and crack this guy open because despite him being a rare figure, these guys were meant to be opened up and used. And I can't have Chief backing up Fred from inside a box. So we're gonna pop this guy open. And this is one of those packages that you just tear up, and that's that. Alrighty, there we go. We have the brick for the stand. Pop out the stand itself. This is one of the buildable stands. We have an old AR, which I believe is pretty much the same as the one Buck comes with. And now, whoa! Okay, come back. Now we have Chief himself. There he is on his stand. The stand is all put together. I wanted to take a look at the little brochure thing that came with it before we looked at the figure himself. Get it open without ripping. Ooh, look at that. So there it is, the entire lineup of Series 1. Looking very cool. Like, what a, what a solid wave to start off with. Sure, it's mostly Spartans, but for the very first Halo Heroes series ever, I think this was a pretty great way to start. And then, of course, we have Buck in there, and Buck is just a great figure. There we can see the rest of the images. Chief looks kind of weird there. His visor is, like, very bright, and the rest of him is very undersaturated or, like, under underlit. That's kind of strange. And then we just have some instructions on how to build the super articulated figures very interesting this is almost like a mini poster it's kind of cool so i figured the stand didn't need a ton of attention but it is worth noting that this is one of the older ones so we have the nice slant We've got the all the wording on it and then the colored base which was kind of cool i do miss the fact that halo heroes series used to have a colored base to it but i do like the newer stands as well and then here is Chief himself. And honestly, I feel like we need to get in even closer to be able to appreciate some of the detail on this figure. There we go. So we have the 117 on the chest. And until the Halo Infinite Chief, this was like the only Master Chief that had the 117 print. So that's pretty cool. And then he's got the black print for like whatever these are, like the vents or whatever other detail it is. And then some little red like almost warning signs, which is pretty cool. He has the special shoulders. I think this might have been the first time these shoulders appeared 
like as a, a piece that was available, but I'm not 100% sure. Got some white print on it. I'm not entirely sure why Mega is not using these shoulders anymore for Infinite Chief, because they would be more accurate, because technically Infinite Chief is basically just Legends Chief with a different helmet. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of confused at why they weren't using them. Oh, we got a little bit of red on the side here. That's pretty cool. More print here. No print around the back, but this is using the old piece with the spine on it, which I thought was really cool. I was a little sad when Mega removed it, and now it never comes with the spine. And then we have some white print on the legs here. Kind of comes out more as gray because it's so thin, but, you know, it's close enough. Uh, the head is the one spot that's not the best. That visor print on the corners is very splotchy. Mega kind of messed that one up a bit. Uh, I will most likely be able to get a replacement head from Mega Burb because I think he might have one that he can sell me because he's got like literally everything. He is the place to go if you need something Mega Constructs related. Uh, I used to actually despise the design of this helmet. It looked, I don't know. I thought that the Halo 4 Chief helmet was like the best and I still think that armor is one of the coolest versions of chief like that was kind of the definitive master chief to me and this was definitely not because the mouthpiece was so large and blocky but then i watched forward unto dawn and that made me kind of actually like this armor it's just a very different look for chief it almost makes him look more like fred and i don't know for that era i think it was really cool his weapon is nothing super special. It's just an AR, but we do have a tiny, tiny bit of green print here and a tiny, tiny print of green there as well. Pretty interesting. Very, very oversized weapon, but it is a classic at this point. Well, there you have it. That is the Master Chief in his Mark IV armor. Now, I would be remiss if I did not get Fred and bring in Fred, because the whole point of this was so that Chief and Fred could be reunited. There's Chief, and there's Fred, and they look really nice side by side. Like, look at that. Look at that, that's so cool. So now we just have to wait for Kelly to come out, because the next Halo Heroes series, Halo Heroes series 16, I think it's 16, or is it 15? I keep getting the numbers mixed up. I say one, and then I realize it's the other. It's one of the two. But yeah, they uh, Mega is releasing Kelly from Legends in that lineup as well. So we'll get to have the whole trio here. Um, if you want to have it be like Ford Unto Dawn accurate, I think you have to remove Blue Team, because I don't think Fred and Kelly had their Legends armor in Ford Unto Dawn, or at least not their helmets but yeah these guys look so cool next to each other they look just so hard edged oh that's so cool so once again huge thanks to jacob hoffman for sending chief to me that was an absolutely legendary move and i really really appreciate it and i'm sure fred appreciates it as well because now he has some backup although i do need to go and find him a weapon he needs a weapon chief has got his weapon but fred needs a weapon Unfortunately, to get your hands on this guy nowadays, loose, he's going to cost you like upwards of 50 bucks. Sealed, gosh, it's sealed is like 70 on up to basically whatever people choose to ask. Especially on eBay, it's absolutely insane. So I honestly don't recommend you try and track this guy down unless you just really are okay with spending a lot to get him. Because he's one of those figures. Basically, all of Series 1 have become pretty sought after. Thorn, Buck, Chief are the top three from that series. The other three, you know, they're a little bit expensive depending on where you look. But especially Chief and Buck, they're really pricey. So I would say keep your eyes open. If you find like a random lot somewhere and, you know, you see Chief in there, go for it because this is a great figure, but please don't overpay. 
he's a absolutely fantastic figure, but he's not worth 50 some odd dollars. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.